Good morning, Agape Worship Center. I greet you from beautiful Bismarck, North Dakota, and commend you on this very special day. First of all, you're beautiful, 18 years old. You're just getting uh, going good, and uh, but you're beautiful. You're God's beautiful bride, and I so celebrate and salute you on this day. And I honor and celebrate your outstanding and dearly beloved by Sanja Me, your dearly beloved pastor and first lady, Bishop Vincent Collins and First Lady Collins. We love them. As you know, if you've been around Agape very long at all, you know from time to time the Kemp's are going to pop in. And just to say we love you and love your great pastor. But I commend you. This, this is a very special day, and I commend you, church. Paul tells us in Ephesians chapter 4, that when Christ conquered, he gave gifts to men, and then he enum enumerates those gifts, and he and he we call it the fivefold ministry. He says that he loved us so much that he gave us apostles, and prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. And I've watched your pastor starting as a founding apostle, the founder of your church. I've watched your pastor be used in all of those fivefold gifts, and. He and First Lady Collins is Christ's gift to you. And today is your acknowledgement of that and your gift back to Christ. For when you honor the man and woman of God, you're really honoring Christ. And so Christ loved you so much that he gave you a diamond. He, he gave you, we call that Pastor Collins and First Lady Collins. He gave you a diamond. But he also, there comes that time when a church is established, when we commit ourselves to a church, when we join a church, and there's a little thing called a wedding band. We bind ourselves to each other. And that's what this day really represents. Christ has bound himself to you, and he's given you a gift called the Collins, Pastor Collins. And you have bound yourself to Christ by acknowledging that and giving honor to your pastor. So when you do this, uh, things like you're doing today, it is a big deal in heaven and on earth, and God's going to bless you. And so I greet you again. I pray that you have a great day. I noticed uh, that uh, Bishop Pelt is also with you today. Bishop, I greet you. Wished I could be there to hear you preach. You're a wonderful man of God, a great leader, but an outstanding preacher. And uh, Pastor, just know that Sanj and I love you and Sister Crystal. You are tops. You're a great leader. Both of you are. You're distinguished, you're humble, but yet you're bold to lead your servants, but you're servant leaders. And I just want you to know that your dreams have not been fulfilled yet. God has put, this is great as agape is right now, God has put bigger and better things in you. I see you doing great and mighty things that will influence the whole world. This church is in a center. It could be a Jerusalem. It's in the center of the great state of South Carolina and in many ways in the center of the world. And you could have a great impact in these troubled times, but these times that are ripe with possibilities. And so dream big, believe big, because God is dreaming big and believes big in you. I love you all. I pray that you have a great day. I salute you one and all.